Hi everyone. So I am going to um, attempt to do another rose today. I haven't done one in a while. The only two that I've done really are the two videos I already have on here. Um, but I did want to to try another one. I just had an idea for something I wanted to do with a few different roses on some of this paper. So, um, we'll see. Alright, anyway, this is uh, Nara Synthetic Art Paper. This is on a 6 inch round. Um, my plan, if I can come up with three that I like, so I have some six inch wooden rounds that I'm going to mount these on and then uh, hang them as a set. So, alright, colors, yeah, I can't even tell you because this is a mixture of, the only one I can remember is eggplant. It is a mixture of all of the colors that I have used previously and the other two roses that I did. Oh, wait, three. I think I've done three now. But anyway, um, I had mixed colors together to make those, and this is a mixture of all of the previous colors that I had mixed together. I just dumped it together. So it should be some sort of a pinkish purple shade, and uh, hopefully it will look decent. This is uh, my, I'm still using my mixture of 91 and 99 percent isopropyl. I recommend 99 percent if you can get it. This was just me mixing stuff together again that I had left over just to get it all in one bottle. Get the 91 percent used up. I've got my Revlon uh, styling brush hair dryer. It's 500 watts. Got the brush attachment removed. I use it on the cool setting. I'm also using my Fordham foot pedal which um, I did a video on. I don't know if my cord's long enough to show it to you. Yeah, maybe. There we go. So this is my speed control foot pedal to where I can use, I don't have to have the super high airflow on cool. This lets me slow it down when I want to. Pretty much any speed that I want to use my dryer at. Right now, I've got my cords all tangled up here. There we go. All right, and I think that's it. Um, you might see me use this. Uh, I get asked about this so much. This is just some random little thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was in the acrylic paint section. This is not a blunt or a stump like you would use for um, charcoal drawings for smudging and things. This is hard plastic, <coughs> and I think it's to use for acrylic painting if you want to draw out some, you know, swirls or make scratches or, you know, things like that. But I use the back end of it usually just to get the inks moving. If I, I'm sure some of you who have already gotten well into doing this have noticed there's times your inks just won't, they want to go around a little spot like a little part gets dry and leaves a little edge and it pushes your inks around it. And I'll use that sometimes to try to um, uh, get the inks moving over that little part instead of leaving a little mark there. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this the same way that I did the first purple rose that I tried. Um, I've done, Every time I've done one, I've done it in different ways, so um, this is going to be at least similar to the first one. And this actually already has some alcohol in it. I, I'm just sitting here debating on whether or not I wanted to even put alcohol down on the on the paper because I actually I want to keep my initial stuff I put down pretty dark because. I'm going to be using it and pushing it in as I go. I'm going to make those outer kind of petals first, so I want to keep plenty of color on the paper so that I can push it inwards. So like there's something. Oh, as far as measurements as to what colors are in here, yeah, I don't. I haven't got a clue. I didn't measure them to start with. Just dump stuff together. 
Um, so let's hope that it <laughs> looks okay. <coughs> and I may end up having a lot of trouble with some moisture beading today because uh, we are waiting for the remnants of Hurricane Ida to pass by us here. Um, should be the rain should be getting here within the next couple of hours, and it's super dark and cloudy and dreary today. So with all that humidity in the air, I may be having a lot of trouble with um, with the moisture beating. Okay. Well, apparently I it was a bad time for that to happen. I must have unplugged my foot pedal when I was moving stuff around. There we go. Well, I may put a little alcohol on it now because otherwise it's gonna, my edges are gonna get too dry. So I am just using this on high right now. Um, now my biggest problem with this is probably gonna be keeping it in the center of the paper. And I try to change my camera angle a little bit. I hope that that uh, you all are going to be able to see this good because I I know there have been some issues with the dryer getting in the way and my hand getting in the way, and I just can't seem to figure out a good angle to put this at. Well, it's an interesting color. It's kind of a mauve sort of color. And as you can see there, I was getting a lot of moisture beads. Plus, I'm using a great deal of my ink and alcohol mixture at one time, which just makes it worse. I'm always, you'd think by now I would be used to oops, not um, turning off my, the switch on my dryer. If you're, if you get one of these foot pedals, you don't ever have to actually turn your switch off. You can just leave it set. But it's so ingrained after a couple of years of doing that, that I'm constantly turning it off. All right, so I'm just going to try to pull out a little more of that color here because I want more outer petals than that. I'm wondering how many times I'm going to accidentally pick up the wrong bottle since I've got two needle nose bottles going today. Man, I'm really going to have issues going to be even worse than I expected with the moisture. Although every color that's in there, I think, has got some, you know, shade of red involved in creating that color. And the reds are the absolute worst for the moisture beading. Any color that's got red in it at all, you're going to have problems with moisture if you live in a a high humidity area especially. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope y'all can hear me okay. I, I was talking kind of quiet. The I decided to let the girls sleep in a few minutes this morning before we started school so I could get this done.
So I'm just trying to make sure I shape my petals decently. That's why you see me kind of trying to round it out a little, widen it at the end. And I'm not all that concerned right now with how it looks in the middle because all of that's going to be gone over again anyway as I keep working my way in. Uh, you know, that's going to get reworked as I continue to push more and more ink in towards the center. So you can see I'm already starting on, see I've got these in the back, so you've got kind of this little back layer, although I'm getting ready to redo here and here. Um, but so that's what you're going to want to do to get it to look like petals is... Uh, do it uh, like four, sort of four at a time, like I've done here and then I've done here, although I am getting ready to go back over it. It doesn't have to be four, it can be however many, but you know, you, you're gonna want them to look kind of layered. There's some things I get, I, I know what I want to do, but then it, for some reason, is really hard for me to figure out how to put that into words to tell you all what I'm trying to do. So this is just, you know, as you've seen me do in other videos, I'm just picking up that moisture, just using the very tiniest corner of that to just dab the moisture up once I'm sure that most of the ink has dried so I don't suck up all my ink. Alright, all right, so I've gotten that fairly well centered, so hopefully I won't mess that up as I continue on. Um, I shouldn't because now I shouldn't be coming out anymore. Now I'm going to start, you know, overlapping some petals in here where I've got these lines. We hope. We hope that's what happens. And I'm probably going to have to add some more ink. because it's gonna get a little too light as I go in, I think. But I'll keep going for a minute and see what happens here. One of the biggest problems that I have is, other than keeping it in the center, is not getting too many petals on one side or the other, and where it's kind of, you know, it's not going to be completely symmetrical, but, um, you know, you don't want to end up with ten petals on one side of your rose and three on the other. Now, if you use heat, that actually helps a little bit with the moisture but be really careful so that you don't warp your paper. The Nara is good to um, flatten back out, but all of them, no matter what they are, definitely can be warped beyond repair. There's just only so much flattening out that they can do.
So you, oops, don't want that. Stick a lid on it and that way maybe I won't accidentally pick it up and squirt it because I've done things like that before. You all will have to let me know if this camera angle, if you all feel like it's better or worse or doesn't really make much difference. And you'll see, you'll notice, or I, maybe not, I'll tell you, <laughs> the more I use up this ink, the more I keep working it, the less moisture I have on the paper. Um, you get a tiny bit regardless, but yeah, the longer you work the same puddle of ink, the less moisture beads you're usually gonna get come out of that ink. I'm still getting a little, but not, not quite as much as I was in the beginning with the, the big initial puddle of ink I put down. And you'll notice I'm not using brass on this today. Um, you can use brass or, you know, another metallic if you prefer, but... The reason that I don't is because I am doing so much working of this ink and it starts to blend. You're going to get lines and stuff out here, but then it's going to start to blend as you go toward the middle and you're going to get a really thick buildup of, of your ink mixed with your metallic and it just makes it a lot more difficult to work with. So I'm trying to use a little less alcohol, you know, as I turn around. Because I want my petals to get smaller. And then eventually, here in just a few minutes, I'm going to have to use something like a paintbrush or a dotting tool. Um, to put the alcohol down or I'll have way too much on it. thinking about Hurricane Ida, for any of you all who were in the path of that near New Orleans, and, uh, and some of those places, and over into Mississippi, <coughs> I hope all of you all are okay and didn't have too much property damage and things as well. That was uh, definitely a scary kind of storm down there. Now, you notice I've been doing mine sort of one petal at a time after I got done with this big part. You don't have to do that. You can actually keep on going all the way across uh, and do your petals that way. I just haven't been this time. There's no, I mean, it doesn't, it's whatever works for you. 
And since this is not something, the roses are not something I do frequently, uh, it tends to change every time I do it. I'm not entirely sure I'm liking this one at all, honestly. I like the color okay. I'm just not liking the way it's turning out so far, but we'll finish it up and see. The moisture beading is leaving. I, I don't even know if you all can see it, but it's leaving some line that I didn't particularly want. One of those little edges I didn't want there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and you can see I'm getting to the point that I am going to have to use a paintbrush or something because you can only get your drops of alcohol out so small. And, you know. I'm getting to the point where it's just going to keep on being the same size petal over and over again. So, try this one. Yeah, this is just a liner brush. Um, you can use whatever you want. I may end up in the end using something like this, just this little dotting tool, to get uh, something super small. I don't have anything to put my alcohol out in, so you'll be seeing me just do it. Yeah, my brush is messed up. I can't keep a good brush because the girls want to paint and play with them. Now I am dabbing just a little of that drop off of there onto that. Just because I don't want to have a ton of alcohol on. I probably should have kept on going a little bit longer. Um, with the drops from the bottle. I think I could have spread them in there a little bit better. When I do it like this, I get a much more pronounced edge on it. Not sure I wanted that edge on there just yet. And I notice I'm getting off center too. I'm great at that. My husband laughs at me sometimes. He says he thinks my head's on crooked. so far in the middle, but keep going. Keep going. You do need to do this part, once you start using a brush or something, you do need to try and get your air to it quickly. Um, because it's just going to keep on pushing that ink out and making that hard ridge. And it, you may not want that. I mean, I think you could probably actually do a really cool flower like that. But, um, that's not the look I was going for, so... Trying to see where I wanted to take that to next. Now, you 
you'll notice I've not put any more ink on this either. I have not needed to. Um, I mean, it, it just always amazes me how far you can spread just, you know, alcohol ink. And remember, this ink that I was using actually had alcohol spread or already mixed in with the ink. So it was already thinned out from that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is start letting it sort of spread itself. I'm going to put a dot down because I need to come in smaller now. So I'm going to put like a dot out here and a dot over here, except I'm running out of alcohol, a dot over here. Oops, those two ran together. You gotta watch because this does, I mean, the alcohol will spread much farther than you expect it to almost every time. That's why I'm sort of just touching it to that little piece of paper towel so that I don't get so much alcohol on the paper so that it's smaller. See, I had a little too much alcohol still on my brush right there and it kind of spread further than I wanted it to. I think I'm gonna have to put some more ink in here because now it's getting to the point of being too too light. I don't want the center quite so light, but I also don't want to put a big chunk of ink in there and have it look bad. Sorry, I'm sitting here debating on whether to add any more out or ink to it or not. Yeah, just a drop. I may regret doing this, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, that's actually a little better. Big drop. Got to try and cover up this white spot I made there. I mean, this does kind of waste a little bit of ink doing it the way that I'm doing it because I'm dabbing it off, but it's really not a huge deal to me because this ink goes so far anyway. Your, I mean, your alcohol inks will last you for a lot of paintings. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the dotting tool. Sorry, I'm trying to get some of that off my brush before I lay it aside. This is where it really comes in handy if you've just, I have a palette somewhere. I, I have no idea where it is. I have not found it yet since we moved. It's still, I thought I had all my art supplies unpacked, but I haven't found that, so. All right, because I just want tiny dots in there now, getting it smaller and smaller all the time. See, I'm even trying to get some of that off of the dotting tool. Although I managed to suck it all off there that time. But you just kind of be amazed at how much 
just one tiny little drop will push out on all your other stuff that's already down and dry. So these are supposed to be looking like, you know, just teeny little inner petals, little teeny tiny ones. This is not my favorite one I've done. I feel like I left too much, like little dark places here and there, but, uh, you know, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of a way that you can do this. Oops too much off. There's just, there's so many different ways to make flowers. And this is just one, just one idea of things for you to try. This is not my best one, but... Sorry, I'm coming back out a little bit to some of these places that I don't love and seeing if there's anything that I can do. I keep getting too much alcohol or ink off of my dotting tool here. Of that rose is kind of looking like a hot mess right now. Mm, that's a big drop. So the reason I'm moving it around right there is because of some of these thick lines that's getting, you know, some of this where it, the ink has built up along the edges where it's been pushed out. So I was rubbing it in there to help get rid of those thick lines. Oh, a bird just hit my window. It flew away though, it's okay. I have no idea how a bird could hit this window because I've got so much stuff sitting right in the window. Should have seen it lights and a fan and tripod and all kinds of things in the window here. You have to put something else up there. Alright, so I'm trying to get this finished up into the very center here now. It gets very finicky and nitpicky here at the end and you know and you can when you're not trying to do a video of it you can take a lot more time to kind of shape your stuff and, and make it look the way you want it to look. I'm struggling getting enough alcohol at this point. Because I want it just super tiny in there right now. And that is, right now, this is just the alcohol that I'm using. So I think I'm going to go back now and try one more itty bitty drop of color which may destroy all my little alcohol markings but that's okay all right that's all i'm gonna do to that one um you know like i said not it's not my favorite i did get some harder lines than i wanted in there i mean i don't hate it it's just uh, not my favorite i've got i mean see if I can show you better up closer. Um, 
sorry, <laughs> struggling there to show you anything. Um, you can see I, where I was having trouble with the water. Uh, it leaves these little sort of um, squiggly, fuzzy looking lines around the outside and I don't love that. And the more I got in here where I got thicker lines, you know, sort of the more rough edges that it got. But, you know, that's okay. It's not awful. I'm satisfied with it. Um, definitely room for improvement on that one. But hopefully I was able to give you all enough information. And hopefully you could hear me when I was running my dryer. Um, but hopefully I was able to give you all enough information to um, be able to give something like this a try on your own. And I can't remember the video numbers right now, but uh, if you look back on my playlists or my uploads where it's listed on my channel's homepage, uh, you can, if you'll just scroll through those, you can find the other roses that I've done. I, like I said, I think I've done three others. So, uh, you might find one of them more to your taste. All of them are just a little bit different, done just a little bit differently. Well, I'm really glad that y'all joined me again today for this, and I'll be back real soon with something else for you. I love all of you. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.